Okay, we're in section 14 of the notes. And this is the review for exam number one. The hope again is that you've done all the material in the prior sections. That means paid attention during lecture, understood what was being presented, studied it, did the uh, supplemental exercises and have done the web assign. And now you're ready to review for exam number one. So in the course guide, uh, this is uh, section 14, Basically what we do is we give you some sample questions related to what we just taught. So if you were to look through that, what do you see in sample questions? Like you see one, two, and again, you need to read through that of course, and you get through blah, 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 up to problem number 20. And then what I do is I provide an answer key, All right? Now I would say first work on the problems one through 20 without looking at an answer key, but you might struggle. For example, let's say you got to problem number one and you're struggling with that. What you could do for number one is go to the answer key and you could look in the blue area for my solution over here and you could actually play a video. Let me just briefly go through that with you. You click play. Okay, this is the solve for the variable t. This is a quadratic equation and we're gonna to try to use a zero product rule on it. Um, oh. I think you get the idea. All right, again, my suggestion is to take this thing seriously, work through these problems here, right? Hopefully you don't need help with it, but if you do, the first place to get help is look at the answer key and look at the videos if you need it. You should also self-assess in this. What does that mean? Look at the answer key to make sure you're matching the answers. For example, after you do number one, you should be getting the answers t equals three or t equals five for that question. So you go through all those questions, 20 questions, now, someone says, is that enough to review for an exam? Maybe, maybe not. I'm also going to say you can go back to the course web page. Let me do that with you. And over there, you're going to notice it says a section reviews, right? These reviews were written by the division, our department. All right, now when I say that, what I did was I rewrote the review. All right now, when I say rewrote them, I just simply copy their questions, retyped it, put solutions down. So for example, you know, Essex County College, Math 100, exam reviews with solutions, all right? So, you know, we're on exam number one. So remember these red links here in the notes are always gonna be clickable. Let me click that. And what do you get? You get to this review for exam number one. Uh, what do you have over here? It's a different review sheet, of course. You have an equation. In this area over here, you have my solution to it. This is me typing up a solution and you have an answer to it. There's also a section number over here. Now that's for the students that are reading the textbook that's embedded in your web assign. It's from 7.1 of the text, all right? There's also a video. Again, if you click on this, a video will open. You can play the video if it's helpful. Again, I would take this seriously, do as much study as you possibly can. All right, let me go back to the notes. Uh, again, if you have questions related to this material, I would say the first thing you really need to be able to do is say, did you do what we expect you to do? Which is, did you study the prior sections? If you have though, and you need additional help, come by during office hours and we'll be more than happy to help you through the material, All right? I realize this is a struggle for uh, some of our students. Some of our students find this to be easy. Some find it difficult. We're here to help you get through the course, all right? And, and move forward, of course, as well. All right, thank you.